Assalamu alaikum beautiful students. Uh, today's lesson is titled The Gumdrop Affair, written by Rolf E. Hayes Jr., J.R. Minus Jr. And uh, this video lecture is uh, for the students of 12th class. Components of the lecture Introduction to the author, Title, Explanation of the chapter. Theme, glossary, textual questions, character sketch. Author Rolf E. Hayes Jr. is not any uh, great writer. He is a very small writer. He was born and raised in USA. He's a small writer, as I said. He's an artist, illustrator, and cartoonist. He writes short stories also, and his genre, branch of literature. Uh, is detective fiction means he writes mostly in detective fiction <coughs> title of the chapter title is the gumdrop appear gumdrop means a candy or a sweet appear means a matter concern action business or a relationship and uh, so the title literally means the matter of candies it doesn't seem a serious title or referring to something serious in the context state is the name of a secret assignment which the protagonist has to deal with explanation of the chapter well this chapter has been uh, divided into many subsections first sub uh, section is arrival of a mysterious package so at the very beginning of the lesson a package is uh, received by Edison Barnaby the protagonist the main character of the lesson the package contains a coded message and the message says that the package is actually a bag of explosives a bag of bombs and this bag of bombs uh, has to be handed over to a contact man uh, named Brian Thompson sitting at a local hotel I will read it. Addison Barnaby receives a package with a coded message saying the package contains explosives needed to be handed over to a contact man named Brian Thompson staying at a local hotel. Next to you have Addison Barnaby's self-examination. Now sometimes you are all alone and you think about yourself. And this man, Addison Barnaby, he also thinks about himself. He feels that his department is mistreating him. He's not taking him seriously, uh, that his department uh, does not love him, does not respect him. Why? He gives reasons here. Addison hates his department for sending him to do odd jobs. By the way, he knows why. He is old, fat and bald. He lacks in killer instinct. He carries unloaded gun. However, he is knowledgeable, hardworking judo fighter and kind so here we get a uh, we get an introduction uh, to the main character of the chapter uh, named edison barnaby next to you have his encounter with uh, thompson he knocks the hotel room of thompson door opens and thompson insults him before taking him inside thompson delays in revealing the code word but edison insists on it so here what happens encounter encounter with Brian Thompson when Edison Barnaby reaches the hotel uh, Brian Thompson or uh, the man who was already waiting at the hotel for him he insults and he insults Edison Barnaby but Edison Barnaby is a patient person uh, he, he is a tolerant person understand he is there on a business so he does not uh, want to pick a fight with Brian Thompson he ignores that insult and goes inside making uh, mistakes of Thompson noticed by Edison now when these two Edison Barnaby and Brian Thompson when they are interacting conversing with each other inside the hotel room Brian Thompson makes a list of mistakes and the mistakes are here he mispronounces the Swahili word Gri uh, Swahili is an African language and there is a word uh, Giri in that language means what hog referring to some animal so then what happens 
that Brian Thompson he deliberately perhaps uh, uh, mispronounces this word he smokes near the bag of explosives another mistake he says water buffaloes are in Africa means he does not have good uh, command over general knowledge he wears a he wears an elephant tail bracelet on his right wrist so these are the mistakes made by Brian Thompson uh, the man who was waiting at a hotel room uh, for Edison Barnaby next fight and conclusion so here fight and conclusion I don't know what happened to it wait a second yes Edison fights Thompson to get back the package finally he overpowers Thompson ties him to a bed and wants to leave the hotel room Thompson produces forth an ID proving himself a colleague of Edison he also tells Edison that he had come to test his loyalty courage and Edison passed the test the two smile open the package find candies previously called explosives in it and Edison it is one of them so what happens here in the uh, lesson in short we have Edison Barnaby he receives a package and he uh, is uh, told that uh, the package is actually a bag of bombs and this bag of bombs has to be given to Brian Thompson waiting at a hotel when he reaches at the hotel Brian Thompson is not actually there to receive the bag he is there to test Edison Barnaby whether Edison Barnaby is a fit agent uh, for the department or not understand so Edison Barnaby is here uh, he is tested so his knowledge is tested his loyalty is tested his courage is tested finally he passes the test and Edison Barnaby he reveals himself he, he, he says that his name is not really Edison uh, this uh, Brian Thompson reveals himself says that his name is uh, not really uh, Brian Thompson his name is Frank and the two guys they smile and then they open the bag and the bag does not contain candies or gumdrops sorry the bag contains candies or gumdrops it does not contain bombs theme the theme of the short story the gumdrop appear is that exteriors and appearances of people can be misleading and deceptive we don't have to judge a book by its cover most of the time as we ignore fire or don't take seriously a loyal employee by judging him outwardly most of the time as we ignore fire fire means here sack or don't take seriously a loyal employee by judging him outwardly we must judge people on the basis of abilities not on the grounds of outward appearances Edison Barnaby was a loyal able and courageous agent he could risk his life for his office he was witty hard-working and very patient however his department didn't appreciate his efficiencies he was ignored and underestimated he even he was even tested by the department he passed the test successfully and thus disillusioned his department in direct terms he thought in direct terms he taught a lesson to his department that a person should never be underestimated on the basis of physical appearance one has to be smart instead of looking smart one needs to be judged by work not by appearance so this was the theme of the lesson next is glossary gumdrop as i said means a candy coded means written in symbols decode means to break the code explosive means bomb lobby means reception area you have lobbies in your homes contact man is someone to be contacted here in the lesson contact man was Brian Thompson textual questions the writer says the gumdrop appear was not much of a name for such an important assignment why when the writer says that the gumdrop appear was not much of a name for such an important assignment he means to say that the name was not really good and appropriate the name of an important assignment must have been better suggestive and special one question two is why had the department never taken barnaby 
seriously. The department had never taken Barnaby seriously because he was not merciless like his co-workers. He loved people very much and could not think of killing them. Moreover, he was small in size, old, fat and bald. He had not a secret agent look. He was not robust and could easily be mistaken for a weak barber. How was Barnaby different from other secret agents? Barnaby was way different from other secret agents. He was not cruel like them. He would not carry a loaded gun. Wherever he was posted, he would spend much time in learning about the country, its people, its customs, etc. so that he could do his job peacefully and without harming anyone. Question 4 is why didn't Barney be carry a loaded gun? How did he make up for his not being a cold-blooded secret agent? Barney B didn't carry a loaded gun because he didn't want to kill anyone even by mistake. He made up for his not being a cold-blooded secret agent by using judo and by learning more and more about the region where he was sent to do some job. Why does Thompson look at Barnaby and ask is this some kind of a joke? Thompson looked at Barnaby and asked him is this some kind of a joke because Barnaby looked like a barber and not like a ruthless secret agent. He didn't have a secret agent look at all. Why do you think Thompson told Barnaby that he reminded him of a barber? According to me, Thompson told Barnaby that he reminded him of a barber in order to provoke him for a violence. It was a part of the test that Thompson was conducting on him. He was actually checking the level of his passions. Question 7 is why do you think Barnaby asked Thompson about his life as a hunter? Barnaby asked Thompson about his life as a hunter in order to disclose his reality as he had been behaving suspiciously and unlike a contact man. List the mistakes made by Thompson that made Barnaby suspect him. What does Barnaby's response to each of these mistakes reveal about him as a secret agent? One has been done for you. So homework for students, you will do it. Actually, I have made a list of these mistakes in summary section. You can uh, go back and see it or you can do it on your own now. Why do you think Thompson made these mistakes? Thompson made these mistakes deliberately to test the ability, efficiency and carefulness of Barnaby. He was not there really to take the bag of explosives from him. He was there to test him. Question 10 is, do you think Barnaby would have been killed had his gun been loaded? Why? Why not? Quote evidence from the studies body will answer. No, Barnaby would not have been killed if the gun had been loaded because Thompson had not come to kill him but to test him. The evidence from the stories given below. No, I aimed over your left shoulder. Question 11 is after the scuffle when the man said, I am really a department man, did Barnaby believe him? How do you know? When Barnaby handcuffed Thompson's left arm to a bed and started to leave, the leader said that he was really a department man. Barnaby didn't believe him until he was shown an ID bearing a special serial number that the department used for emergency identification. How did the contact man prove that he really belonged to the same organization and Barnaby? The contact man proved that he really belonged to the same organization as Barnaby by producing post a valid ID. Actually, this English Chinar 2nd and Chinar 1 has uh, have been compiled by two women, uh, that Rino Anand and somebody else. That is why then these females, they don't have that much intelligence, almost all females in the world. Uh, look at question 11 and question 12, almost uh, similar. And these questions, they are not for kids, for lower classes, 5th and 6th, they are for 12th. At least uh, uh, they should have thought that what the hell are they uh, making in the name of questions. I really hate this English channel uh, 1 and channel 2. I pray God that this English be changed very fast or uh, very soon. 
and this work and um, of a uh, compelling english for class 11th and 12th be given to some men question 13 is what was the contact uh, man's real name who had asked him to meet barnaby the contact man's real name was frank guthrie the secret service department in which he was working had asked him to meet barnaby what was the whole exercise meant for how well did barnaby pass the test the whole exercise was meant for testing the loyalty ability and courage of barnaby and he passed the test excellently question 15 barnaby towards the end of the story says do you mean what did he imply by this complete the, his question towards the end of the story barnaby says to thompson do you mean that the bag contains sweets and not explosives he implied that if the bag contained no explosives then there was nothing to be afraid of and one could fearlessly taste those sweets finally he picked up a candy and had it character sketch of edison barnaby it may be a five marker question edison barnaby is an agent working for an underworld although he looks old shorty and weak he is intelligent loyal and courageous he loves humans and can't kill them he never carries a loaded gun lest he should kill anyone by mistake he has learned judo and uses it when necessary he learns the language culture and similar things of the country where he is posted he is a keen observer and has an eagle's eye he has a few complaints against his office but still he performs his jobs honestly he is very patient and is not easily provoked he constantly learns about the world and it helps him to finish his job successfully when his department tests him for loyalty courage and ability he succeeds with flying colors the proverb that appearance is deceptive is very true in his case in fact he is one of the best men that his department has nevertheless he is a right man in the wrong job end of the lesson hope it helps you